How's it hanging, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I am going to be doing my review for Succession Season 4, Episode 5, which was titled Kill List. And overall, another great addition to the final season. Really enjoyed the episode. I thought it was pretty great, and uh, I especially loved the beginning. Right off the bat, it was a bit of a callback to the pilot episode with Ken in the car listening to uh, some rap music. And in the pilot, he's, of course, thinking he's going to get the CEO position, and now... He finally has it, and Ken's ego is giant right now, and I'm loving it. We are so back. Ken's obviously my favorite character, and um, I'm uh, loving where uh, his character's going right now, if we're being completely honest. And I watched the promo for next week's episode, and still looks like uh, he's on top of the world. But uh, I'm definitely worried for Kendall's character, because uh, it could very well all come crashing down. And we see in this episode that, uh, yeah, going back to his ego, he wants the company for himself. And in many ways, there are some similarities between him and Logan, of course, but there's also some differences because as we see in the episode when Roman kind of wants to do what Logan would have done with the ATN deal, uh, but Kendall basically tells him, no, we should uh, not go ahead with the ATN deal, but basically <laughs> backpedaling a little bit. They all go to Norway for this deal with Matson. And by the way, I really, I really loved the location of this episode. Uh, it was very beautiful, and the cinematography and everything was just fantastic because, uh, well, the location was beautiful, so it kind of automatically lended itself to uh, great cinematography overall, but breathtaking landscapes, actually, and I, I just really loved the way this episode looked and felt, if we're being completely honest. But Roman and Kendall, they meet with Matson, and uh, Matson basically says that he'll pay them 187 Billion? I'm assuming billion, because 187 million, I don't think, is that much. I mean, in their circumstances. I think it was billion. But uh, he basically says that he'll pay that for the acquisition of ATN. And uh, at first, Kendall and Roman are kind of unsure if that's what they want. But yeah, Roman kind of just wants to do what Logan would have done. And Roman is still just, like, too scared to, like, go against Logan. And Logan's dead. It's hilarious. Um, but Kendall wants the company to himself, and I think he's just kind of unsure, like, if he does go ahead with this deal, he doesn't know if he's still going to be CEO, he doesn't know his position, he doesn't know if he's going to be able to secure it, and, uh, I, you know, it's understandable, at least from his perspective, and, uh, towards the end of the episode, though, it, uh, they do kind of realize that Matson is going to raise the, uh, amount to $192 billion. And uh, they're going to go through with it. And then he releases a kill list with Carl, Frank, Hugo. They uh, are all on the list. But Shiv, she came and clutched this episode. She was able to secure Jerry and Carolina's position. And uh, I thought that was pretty great. A lot of people uh, were very happy with what they did with Shiv in the episode. She Again, she did come and clutch. She kind of was the MVP of the episode. And I think Shiv is definitely plotting. She's going to kind of be working with Matson on the inside and I don't know if Roman and Kendall are kind of going to be aware of this. I think Shiv is, I don't know. I, mean, I think she's a, a very sly individual. So I definitely think there'll be something uh, there that could unravel within the next couple episodes. Shiv could uh, end up being the CEO, who knows, and uh, maybe backstabbing Kendall and Roman. That, that'd be un unfortunate. Although Shiv, this episode, one thing I didn't like, she was drinking while pregnant. Uh Kind of sus. Kind of reminded me of when Skylar was smoking when she was uh, pregnant in Breaking Bad. I'll be honest. Uh, it was kind of sus. But, you know, it was uh, pretty great at the end, though. And also, apparently, it seems like they are going to go through with the ATN deal. And uh, because it was 192 now from 187. So I guess that uh, makes it seem like it's it's a good deal for them. And then they, they want to go through with that. So it's pretty interesting, though. Also, I love the scene on the mountain, though, with uh, Roman Candle and Madsen. That was uh, a very great scene, especially when Roman just says, uh, I hate you, to Madsen. It was great. Uh, also, the performances were all fantastic as well. Kieran Culkin, man. he uh, He's pretty great in this episode. He was definitely one of the highlights for me. And, uh, yeah, as and Alexander Skarsgård. I mean, he's always been great as this character. And uh, I'm glad that we get to see more of his character kind of in the season. So I'm enjoying that. But yeah, it was, a, it was a good episode, man. I enjoyed it, and it'll be interesting to see where things go from here. A lot of funny stuff as well with Greg and Tom, of course. They're kind of on the bottom of the totem pole, and uh, they're just trying to figure things out, basically. But I did like the quad squad joke that Greg makes. 
Uh, it's not really a joke. I think Greg kind of believes, well, I don't know if he really believes it, but he kind of wants to convince the new Gen Roys that he's actually on their side and that they have a quad squad. Hilarious stuff. And uh, Greg this season, man, I used to love Greg as a character, but I really don't think I'm on his side anymore. Same thing with Tom. I used to like Tom a lot, but I'm definitely Team Kendall all the way. Um, which is why I'm worried with what Shiv's got planned and what she's doing and all that. But uh, hopefully Kendall can just kind of be aware of it. Uh, we'll see what happens from here. Roman still wants to kind of include Shiv in the discussion. It seems like Roman's the one who's still kind of wanting to include Shiv, obviously because they promised that Shiv would be in the loop uh, in Episode 4. And, uh, you know, Roman definitely kind of want to, wants to keep that um, going with Shiv and kind of have that uh, relationship open. Anyway... Uh, Kendall doesn't really seem like he wants to, I mean, he does, but Roman, I feel like he always brings it up. He always brings Shiv into the conversation and Kendall's like, I don't know. I think Kendall's maybe a bit more aware, but still really love the episode. And, uh, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it down in the comments. Did you enjoy it? I definitely did. And, uh, I cannot wait to see where the rest of the season goes. It's already the halfway m uh, mark between uh, episodes five and then of course we have five episodes left so we're halfway done with the season it's pretty crazy that this season's going by so fast and uh i'm i'm i'm, uh, I'm worried but we'll see what happens of course you never know i mean the show is pretty unpredictable at this point i think we are all well aware about that but uh really good stuff and uh i i've just i love the show so there you go but let me hear your thoughts on, on the episode down in the comments below what did you guys think about this what do you guys think is going to happen next? And uh, all very interesting, super intriguing. But uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my letterbox and my Twitter down in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.